Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to do this. This is a little mixture. What I want some of you to do is use your imagination and use some of the stitches that I've been teaching you and make up your own patterns like this. So what I've done here is I've done five rows of the mesh, I've done two sets of the clusters, I've done the loops in between, I've done five rows of the mesh and then done the clusters again and this is what I've got. It's absolutely beautiful, it's beautiful and it's really light as well and this is made up with a 99 pence ball of yarn. This is from the Home Bargains in the UK. This is only 99 pence a ball and this is the blue one. They do it in grey, lemon, pink and white as well and the tr it turns out beautiful. I've used this quite a little bit. I'm finding it a bit difficult to find it in my store. So I found this odd ball of grey so that I can show you. I'm going to show you in this grey, I'll show you how I've sorted out I'll show you how I've worked out this little pattern like this and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I think it's really, really pretty. Using a size 4.5. If you know me by now, a 4.5 seems to be my favourite my favorite size of crochet hook. So we're going to start off if I find the centre of my yarn. I've got it here. I think it'll be really pretty in this grey as well. I'll pop that up there. So we're going to start with a slip knot. You just do your slip knot whatever way it is that you would normally do it. I'll zoom in a tiny little bit more. So we're going to start with the loop foundation row. Make your loops as many as you want. It's up to you. You can make as many of the loops as you want. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We'll go on one little bit more. You're going to put your yarn over twice, around your hook twice, so it looks like you've got three loops on your hook. You're going to go into the very first stitch that you did on your chain. Just push it through and pull your yarn through. So it looks like you've got four loops on your hook. Yarn over and come through two loops. Yarn over, come through two loops. Yarn over and through another two loops. And that gives you your first little loop along the bottom of your blanket. So I'll get this, it's the same at the top as the bottom. And it gives you this really nice loop edge along the bottom. So you don't need to do extra crochet around the blanket. The sides is quite neat as well. So you can, if you want, do some loops just along there once you've got your blanket finished. Just each section, chain three and make a loop once you've finished your blanket. But you don't need to do the bottom because, or the top, because this is how we finish the top and the bottom like this. But I'll show you that in a few minutes. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Twice around your hook. And we're going to go into these two stitches. That's at the bottom of your chain. On the end of that loop, you've got two stitches that look like a V. We're going to go through there, pull your yarn through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, and once more. So we're going to do that. You do yours to the length that you want it. It's up to you. You can make it as big or as small as you like. So I'm going to do some more loops and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I've got my little sample of loops done. Now you do your loops as wide as you want it. So for this blanket, what I did with the pattern is, you can write this down 
as you're going along so you don't need to keep coming back to the video. If you've got it written down, then you'll know what the little pattern sequence is. So I started with two treble crochets into each space. I'll show you that in a minute. Then I done a set of loops and then I done another four rows of mesh. So I'll show you how to do that part first. Then I went back to the treble crochets and then I did the mesh. So I'll take you up to here. And then once you've done that, that is the pattern that you repeat. You repeat these two sets of trebles, a set of mesh, your two sets of the, the trebles, and then a set of mesh. All the way to the blanket is the height that you want it. Then you'll finish it with one set of trebles and then I'll, we'll put loops on the bottom or the top of it. So I'll show you this part first. So what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into that first loop. Just put your hook through, pull your yarn through and pull it through that stitch. That's your slip stitch and started in the middle of this loop. Chain three. One, two, three. Now that three is your first treble crochet. We're going to put one treble crochet into this space to make two. Chain one and then put two treble crochets into this loop. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. You're going to chain one, put two treble crochets or your two double crochets into this space. Chain one, two treble crochets, chain one all the way along to the end. So that becomes my first treble crochet. So I'll put one more in, chain one, and then put two treble crochets into the next loop. That's two, chain one, and put two into the next loop all the way along. That's two, chain one, and two into the next loop. So I'm on my last loop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one treble crochet into the last loop. And my second treble crochet, I'm going to put it into the end stitch. Just put it in through the end stitch. That's going to keep your blanket. Make sure you go through the stitch. That's going to keep this edge of your blanket straight. Like that. So that's that row. Our next row, we're going to chain three to begin. One, two, three, turn. We're going to do a double crochet into this space. This row, we're going to be using these spaces. Put a double crochet, just go straight through and pull your yarn through. If you're in the USA, this is a single crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two, and do a double crochet into the next space. Chain two, one, two, and double crochet into the next space. All the way along, chain two, and a double crochet into the space. And we're going into that last space. Now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to chain three at the end. One, two, three. And we're going to do a double crochet into the top of that treble. This is, we're doing three at the beginning and the end, so that when we turn, we've got a big enough space to do our stitches. I need to try and catch two, two, two parts of that stitch to anchor it in properly. So into the top of that stitch and just do a double crochet. So you've got a little length of loops all the way along the top and this is what we've got you've got your little piece of blanket forming really well you're going to chain three one two three and turn now into this first loop you're going to do a double crochet into that first loop you're going to chain three one two three and go into the next loop. 
chain three, one, two, three, and into the next loop with a double crochet to anchor it down. Now, I know we only did two along the top of here, but to make the mesh, we're, we're doing three. So chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into the next loop. One. So I'm at my last loop here, so I have to do my chain of three, one, two, three, and I'm going in to this last loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going into the second stitch of this loop. So go into the second stitch and do your double crochet like that. And that's going to keep your edge straight. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. So the edge of our blanket straight. You're going straight into that loop. So we've done our three and we're going into this loop with a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and go into the next loop. So we're going to do that for another three rows. We've got our first set of loops and then we need four more of these. So that's our second one. This is our third one. We're going to do five all together. And into that next loop. One, two, three. Into the next loop with a double crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. And into the next loop with a double crochet. So your first set of loops counts as your first row. This is your second row. This one's your third and we've got two more after that. So I'll do that and I'll come back and show you what to ne do next. Now remember that first chain is your first row. That one's your second and we're now on the third. We've got two more rows to do and we'll come back when we've got five rows done and I'll show you what to do next. So I've got to my last loop here, I've done my chain of three and into the second stitch in that chain, I'm going to do my double crochet. So that's me got my five rows of mesh. I'll show you on this blanket again. So we've done our bottom part and then we've done our five rows of mesh. We did one set of loops and then we did another four on top of that to make five. So now we're going to do this section and this will be the section that gets repeated. The, the, five, the five rows of loops and then the two rows of trebles. Five rows of loops and two rows of trebles. In between the trebles we've got a little section of loops there as well. So if you keep writing it down and then that way when you want to do this again you'll know what you're doing. It looks slightly different because it's in grey. It's actually quite pretty in the grey. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn and we're going to slip stitch into that first loop. So just slip stitch into that first loop. Chain three, one, two, three. That becomes your first treble. And do one more into that chain space there. Chain one and move to your next loop. You're going to put two treble crochets into that loop. Chain one and put two into the next loop. Two treble crochets. If you're in another country, this is a double crochet. Chain one and two into the next one all the way along. So I'm on my last loop that's here. So I'm going to put one treble crochet into the loop. And the next one I'm going to put into the third stitch in that chain. And that is going to keep my blanket nice and straight up the edge. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three to begin with and turn. And I'm going to do a double crochet into this space. I'm going to do a row of loops. Chain two. 
So your first row of loops is chains of two. One, two, and double crochet into the next space. One, two, double crochet into the next space. So I've done my last two, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a double crochet into the second chain up. And that keeps the edge of your blanket straight. If your blanket goes in like this, it will mean that that last treble crochet didn't go in to the top of your chain to keep your edge straight. What I'm going to do now is we're going to turn and we're going to slip stitch into this first loop and we're going to do one more set of our treble crochets. So chain three, one, two, three, and do one more treble crochet into that space. Chain one, move to the next chain space. Two treble crochets, one, and two, chain one, and go to the next space, two treble crochets, one chain, and two treble crochets into the next space. So just keep going into those loops, into my last loop. Now if you get lost with your last loop, you can put a piece of coloured yarn in there so that you know where that last loop is. I'm going to put one treble crochet into the loop, and one just into the stitch in that chain next to it. And that's given me my straight edge along the blanket. We're going to chain three to begin with. One, two, three, turn and go into that space with a double crochet. Now we're just going to chain two. One, two. If it's less confusing for you, you can just keep doing your chains and threes all the time. It's up to you. But you might run the risk of your blanket starting to go like that. The reason I'm only doing two chains in between here is it's not so stretchy. So it keeps your blanket nice and... Um, what's the word for it? It's not symmetrical. It'll keep your ba your blanket balanced uh, so that your blanket doesn't go out like that and be tight at the bottom where you've done your trebles and then go like that when you do your mesh. So if you're only doing a chain of two for your first set of loops, it keeps your blanket in nice and neat and it doesn't splay out like that. So into that space and do a double crochet, chain two and double crochet, chain two and double crochet. So for your mesh part, it's one row with your chain two and your double crochet, then four rows of three chains and your double crochet into the spaces. And I'm going to go into the top of that chain with my double crochet. And you can see that that chain of two keeps your blanket from stretching too far out. Now what we're going to do is four rows of the chain three to make the mesh section. And that's it. That's basically what we're going to do. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn into the first chain space, do a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and a double crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three, and a double crochet into the next chain space. You'll do that for four rows. You'll do your chain of three and a double crochet into the chain space. And this is what you get. You get this pattern. So if I wanted to finish this blanket, 
I would do one row of treble crochets like I've shown you and then I would do one row of loops and my loops would have three chains in it and that would have it the same as the bottom so the top would end up looking like this this is what the top would look like so I've explained it here that's the mesh and that's the mesh there so what I would do to finish it so it's the same as the top I would do my treble crochets into each of my spaces and then I would do one row of chains that had three chains in it just one row of three chains and that will keep my blanket top the same as the bottom so I'll do that to the top there if I do it like that so that's what the top of my blanket would look like the same as the bottom if I've explained it properly is you can just let your imagination run wild with it and you could come up with something that is so pretty like this it's really really pretty so thank you very much for watching please click on that subscribe button if you click on that little subscribe button it doesn't cost you any money to subscribe to the channel if you click on the bell icon every time i put up a new tutorial youtube will let you know really quickly that i've put up another video and you can go and get to see it first so until the next time happy crafting and i'll see you all again soon goodbye